Good afternoon, University. I have no doubt that in recent weeks, you've probably heard uh, Philippians 4 verse 6 once or twice or maybe even several other times. Uh, but I wanted to take a look at that verse today uh, from a little bit different perspective maybe than what you've done recently. The verse states, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Again, I think that we've all been very encouraged by this passage over recent weeks, just from that idea of do not be anxious about anything. But I think it's interesting as Paul talks to the Philippians about prayer, he ties in the idea of thanksgiving. Um, and specifically, I feel like at times when I am anxious, if I will spend time intentionally thinking about things that I'm thankful for or intentionally praying prayers of thanksgiving, it tends to put me on a much better path. Um, we don't have reason to be anxious as Christians, but sometimes it's hard to not be anxious. And I think that we have a really helpful tool with the prayer of thanksgiving. And so what I'd like to do with you today is um, I'd like to read Psalm 100. It's a psalm of thanksgiving. And then I'd like to pray a prayer of thanksgiving with you. And I'd like to encourage you uh, sometime today, if you feel your heart becoming anxious, weary, tired, stop and pray and thank God for the blessing in your life. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for the beauty of the day, the sunshine, uh, the coolness of the day, uh, the breeze that we have today. Father, thank you for the beauty of this earth. Father, we want to thank you for your assurance at this uncertain time in our world. We want to thank you for hearing our prayers. We want to thank you for your care for people who are ill, for people who are uh, suffering, for people who have lost loved ones. We want to thank you for your care. We want to thank you for the people on the front lines that are uh, sacrificing so much to try to help others and to try to help all of us move past this time. We thank you for our families. We thank you for our parents. We thank you for our grandparents, for our spouses, for our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. We thank you, Father. We thank you for the opportunity to come to you now and to pray. And we thank you, Father, for Jesus. We thank you for his death and his burial and his resurrection. We thank you for the gospel. We thank you for the hope that we have in our lives because of Christ. We thank you for the way that we can look forward to Christ's return. Father, I thank you for the University Church of Christ. Thank you for our brothers and sisters. And I thank you that we have an opportunity, it looks like on this Sunday, to at least be able to see one another in a, uh, to see one another again. Um, I thank you for the elders and for the deacons, for David, for Chris, for the uh, for Susan, for the uh, the leadership of the University Church of Christ, and I thank you for the diligent work that they've all been putting in to uh, to uh, to try to be an encouragement during this time. Thank you, Father, for the blessings that you give to us. We believe that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of the heavenly lights. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you thanks. 
And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day.